One of the big differences with this bike is that it's designed around discs and uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I've been definitely unsure about discs in the past. Uh, I'm sure after training on it for a bit you have better stopping power and yeah we'll see when it comes to the race is uh, how it feels. The one thing I noticed with this bike is right as soon as you get on it you can feel that it's quick. Uh, you know I've been riding it for a little bit now and when I go out with my friends I can tell that uh, this bike is really fast just you know going next to the other people and even if you're coasting down the hills I can see that uh, I'm dropping my friends without even pedaling so uh, it's it's definitely fast and uh, it's going to be a huge advantage when it comes to the races next year. Yeah, riding the one by is uh, one of the most interesting things about this bike. It's definitely different and uh, it's, it's not something that I've ever had before. Uh, I haven't really had a cyclocross bike or anything that's had it and so it's, it's a new experience and uh, I think it's going to take some getting used to but I, I think there are definitely some significant advantages that are, are to be had with having only one chain ring, namely uh, a significant gain in aerodynamics and uh, yeah we'll see. I think it should be interesting. based around 28 tires and that's kind of a new development in cycling other than uh, what people ride in the classics and I actually think that's going to be adopted by the entire peloton sometime in the near future because you're not sacrificing anything if uh, the bike's developed around it and uh, yeah you're only gaining comfort and actually I think they're even faster in rolling assistance so yeah it's you, you get on and you realize it's it's super quick. <laughs>